Hey, Corbett Willette here with Turtle Anarchy Brewing Company, here to answer another one of your questions for Adventure Science Center's Science of Beer Around the World in 80 Brews happening December 14th. Jenny asks, what does it mean to age beer? How do you do it? Well, Jenny, it's probably going to be broken down to three categories. It's going to be lagering, barrel aged, and basically cellaring, or what you can do at home. The first two, lagering and barrel aging, is typically done here in a brewery. Lagering, or log... Lagern? Lagern? I don't know. My German's absolutely terrible, but actually translates roughly to to store cold. Um, to store that beer cold is going to allow some of the chemical reactions going on to the be- it going on in the beer to slow down a little bit, much like I need to, and allow some of the chemical reactions to happen a little bit slower. As these chemical reactions happen a little bit slower. Although the beer is going to take a little bit longer for all those little Pac-Man to eat up all those sugars, it's also going to slow down some of the bad chemical reactions that we don't want in the beer. And typically, as it, um, as it happens, the bad reactions are slowed down much more than the good reactions. So, when you lager a beer, it means to basically have the yeast eat the sugars inside of the tank, but do it at a much slower rate. Typically, after the beer has already been, um, after all the yeast has eaten up the sugars, we'll continue to allow the the beer to sit on the yeast just to allow other molecules to become digested. Any off flavors will be eaten up by the yeast. Any excess sulfur or diacetyl or other words or or other things that you uh, may have heard before in beer will eventually get aged out of the beer by the lagering process. The second uh, way to age beer is to barrel age it, and it sounds exactly like it is. You take beer that's pretty much finished, or maybe not finished at all, um, that's just started, and you take it, and you drop it inside of the barrel, and you let it soak up all of the woody goodness, whether it's a French wine, uh, uh, a French white oak barrel that, that came from, um, oh, had a Chardonnay in it previously, or if you're lucky like us, you get an awesome whiskey barrel, uh, which, you, which you get to age your portly stout in, and it gets to absorb a lot of those whiskey flavors, as well as the vanilla woody oak flavors that are also found um, in that beer, making uh, our whiskey stout a uh, abominable, if you will. Um, third and final is cellar aged. Uh, to cellar age beer, you take a beer and you put it in your cellar. Um, it's, it's as simple as that. Typically speaking, you're only wanna go, you're only gonna wanna do this for your sours or your strong ales or, or any like really, really heavy beer. Um, the lighter beers, such as a, um, a lager or pilsner, have already gone through that lagering process. They've already gone through that aging process here in the brewery. Um, you also may not uh, want to cellar some of your hoppier beers, your IPAs, your pale ales, anything like that. Um, hops have a tendency to degrade over time, and it's going to lead to some uh, cheesy or off flavors if, if the beer is to get oxidized a little bit. Um, want to find a cool dark place? A cellar would be absolutely ch- perfect for that. Um, about 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit is the optimum temperature that you're going to want to look for. And also, you're going to want to keep it away from light. Um, UV light will penetrate through the bottle and also cause your beer to spoil a little bit. But we get into that for next week's session. Um, one other side note is if, the, if you decide to sell her a beer, and it is corked, you're going to want to, instead of storing it upright, store it over on its side. That way the cork doesn't get too dry and eventually it won't get too dry by um, standing straight up. And the beer will um, allow the cork to soak and swell and allowing for you to get a um, pretty good, pretty good seal. Um, what I would recommend if you're thinking about cellaring a beer is get a six pack of what you want and have one right now. Have one today because chances are the brewer has already made a beer that he or she is super, super excited about and they want you to try it right now. Try the beer and if you think you want to experiment a little bit, take the other four or five of them and store them in the cellar. Two, three, four months from now, try it again. Try and remember some of the flavors. 
if the flavors are getting better or starting to develop more or your scientist like itch is, is, is just nagging you and you want to age it just a little bit more, continue to age it. But if you found that after you first tried it, it's already it was already perfect or it was, it was better earlier than where it is now, go ahead and, and pull it and don't worry about selling it. Some beers are, are, are great to age, others not so much. Um, a lot of the beers that we produce here at Turtle Anarchy are good to go. Our Catfish Kolsch, we've already lagered it. We've already allowed some of those bad flavors to get eaten up inside of the tank. That way it's fresh, crisp, crisp, fresh, crisp and clear for you guys to enjoy while you're watching a hockey game. Um, whereas our whiskey stout has been aging in, in whiskey barrels um, for, for quite a while, for quite a while. But, uh, but yeah, I think that'll do it on aging. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to comment, like, share the post. And I hope to see you guys at Adventure Science Center, Science of Beer, around the world in 80 Brews, happening December 14th. Cheers.